Okay, today we're going to go over the many different types of central line catheters. Um, some central line catheters here have multiple lumens that you can see here, uh, while some of them just have uh, one lumen. Another thing that you're going to notice here is that certain types of central line catheters have this introducer port right here and right here. The next thing that you're going to notice about these central lines is that some lumens are bigger than others. Typically, the smaller types of lumens over here are around 7 French. Then they go up here to 8.5 French, 9 French. You can get up to 12 French and even 14 French uh, on how big these lines can get. Starting off with these smaller 7 French uh, diameter central lines, uh, you have uh, some of them are just double lumen, and then some of them are triple lumen because they have three lumens. The brown port on these catheters is what's called the distal port because the opening goes all the way to the tip of the distal catheter and I can demonstrate that right now. If I hook something up to this brown port, you're gonna see fluid is gonna come out right here on, out of the distal tip. The blue and the white ports on this trip lumen are referred to as the medial and the proximal ports because injecting through these ports, if you come down, uh, that fluid is going to come out through either that port right there or that port right there. Now I want to move on to these central line catheters that have an introducer port. And two examples of this are, number one, you have an 8.5 French cordis or percutaneous sheath introducer. It has one lumen here. And the other example here is the 9 French double lumen MAC catheter. The advantages to these catheters right here is, number one, you get faster fluid infusion because they have a larger diameter lumen, but the other advantage is that it can act as a conduit for something like a pulmonary artery catheter like we mentioned before. The disadvantage to a line with an introducer port is that they usually have less lumens. For example, on the 8.5 French cordis, you can only run fluids. By itself, it has no way to record CVP. But, never fear, there's some things that you can do to overcome your lack of ports here. Number one is you can use what's called a slick catheter or a single lumen infusion catheter. And so what you do is you just insert this down the hub here of the introducer port. And once you get this on and connect it here, now, this is going to allow you to hook up transducer tubing and monitor CVP on a single lumen cordis. So, the only use of a slit catheter is if you want to monitor CVP on a uh, central catheter that has an introducer port. The other option that you have to give you more ports uh, when you're using a uh, central catheter with an introducer port is to use what's called a companion catheter. And it's just like a regular central line catheter, except for you advance it down here and you're just going to be able to have extra ports. And then the last way to overcome your lack of ports is to insert a pulmonary artery catheter. And you can see when this pulmonary artery catheter is inserted, you've got multiple ports for which to use for infusions and monitoring vascular pressures.